In today's video, we're going to talk about um, abortion, um, a kind of heated debate, especially in light of the Planned Parenthood stuff. Um, what this playlist is about is it's just going to go on um, different different topics that are considered, you know, hot topics and stuff, and kind of try to give a little bit of a balanced uh, view on them. Um, and, and my main point for all these videos is simply to encourage you to do the research yourself. And as a result, um, I, I won't be debating the points. Um, I will simply be presenting them on, on, on the internet. Um, and um, I'm, I'm actually disabling comments for these videos um, just because I, I, I don't want it to turn into something else. I just want it to be uh, an encouragement for you to actually do the research yourself, okay? Um, but I would like to say something about abortion. Um, this is really one of the most un unscientific arguments that people are having. Um, you have pro-lifers who, I mean, let's be honest, the arguments are, are a little lacking. And you have pro-choicers um, who are, their arguments most of the time are just composed of making fun of the pro-lifers. Pro I mean, you see what I mean? It's just not very reasonable. So, let me get this going. There we go. So let's talk about what is the fetus. By definition, it is a, it is a living thing. By definition, I mean, it has all it has all the traits of, of making something alive. Um, if you go to in good instance for Encyclopedia Britannica and look up life and the qualities that make something living, um, you're gonna find uh, you're gonna find pretty much a, a few traits that are just undeniably hu uh, living. Okay. And so then, by testing the fetus, does this show signs of being living? And for that, it's yes. Um, so regardless of, of what the fetus is, uh, scientifically speaking, it is in fact living. Um, a lot of different confusion about that. Um, in fact, I'm posting some links below um, in the definition, or not the definition, the part under the video there, um, that will have some, some links to go to. Um, and I, I've written some blogs, too, if you're interested in that. Um, so as far as what is the quality of life? What is the fetus? Well, I mean, this kind of seems a little bit like a silly question if you actually stop and think about it. It's an immature human. I mean, that, that, that's what science shows is. I mean, if you just do a scientific study, you know, get geneticists, get genetic, geneticists, to study it, and what do they come out with? It's it's a human. It has all it has all the all the characteristics of a human. I mean, it's it's pretty simple if you just you know, the scientific method is all about observation, all about observation. So whenever you're trying to decide what something is, well, you should probably go to science. It's a, it's able to observe those things. It's able to test them. And what does science shows is when it tests a fetus, it, it shows us human life. Granted, it does show us a very immature form of it. However, it is still human. Um, if, I'll get to this in a minute, but I mean, just because a chicken has not yet hatched from the egg doesn't mean it is any less of a chicken. So, but then that kind of conjures the question, what else would it be? Like, I, I just never understood this question. What is it? Well, I mean, it's it's a developing human. It's it's the same as a teenager. You know what I mean? It, it's a developing human. It, I don't understand why where the argument comes there would be anything else scientifically. I understand the reason, you know, subjectively, but science has the answers. Why not just analyze science? I don't understand that. Why have science such a great tool if you're not going to use it? I mean, it just seems nonsense. So then it's at this point that somebody comes along and says, well, it's it's a human in the same way that an acorn is a tree. Well, no. There are, for, let, let's kind of establish a few things here. First off, an acorn is just <clears throat> just a nut, the same as a, a woman's egg, okay? However, once that once that nut become, begins its growth process, which I'm not going to get into that, but if you'd like to study those kinds of things, there's plenty of science books on them. Once it starts its process of actual growth, then it starts transforming into a uh, developing tree, okay? However, the nut by itself is just sitting there, is, is not so much, um, not so much a tree. It's just, just a nut. This is exact same way that an, an egg is, is not a human, 
Okay, once the sperm eats the egg, then it starts developing. And I mean, this is stuff that we learn in high school science. I'm confused where the confusion is, is, is coming, where, where it all is coming from. I mean, this is a scientific argument. So, you know, we're left with that. What else would it be? It's not like we're talking about an egg that is lost through menstruation. We're talking about um, a fertilized egg that has all the, all, all, all the genetic material of a human from day one. I mean, that's, that's not nothing. Um, but, uh, some people would then inevitably, well, there's just a lot that could be said about this. Um, but we're left with that question. What, what else would it be? Honestly and seriously. Um, so it has sex and full chromosome count from day one. It has a heartbeat from from week three, it has detectable brainwaves at six at week six. However, it, it did have brainwaves before that. Okay, um, and that that takes us obviously to the to the idea of abortion. Abortion methods are barbaric, regardless of whether you're pro life or pro choice. There needs to be a different way of abortion besides this. People will always bring up the argument. Well, what well, what about a baby lost um, by a miscarriage? Well, that really isn't the point because that was some see what I mean like we're not talking about some things done on accident or those kind of things we're talking about those things purposefully um, done and I talk more about this on, on my blog if you're interested on that but an abortion is a is a purposeful intent to destroy life okay a miscarriage is an accidental thing that causes death See what I mean? There, there, there is quite a big difference. And if you actually just analyze the two and kind of compare them to each other, it's, it's kind of obvious um, what the difference is there. But going back to the abortion methods, they are really quite gross. There's, um, there's saline injections, and there, there's another type of injection, but it's not as effective. Uh, and oftentimes babies are, are born alive a lot more often than in saline injections. So they usually want to go for the salt mixture. Um, and what it does is it will burn the burn the baby, uh, and, and it'll actually be taken into the baby, and it'll suffocate and have convulsions and those kinds of things. Very graphic, very gross. Um, if you ever watch an abortion, you, you'll 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 know this. Um, other other methods range from all kinds of different things. There's there's some where they, where they go in and they they'll cut up the fetus and then they'll suction it out. I mean, just barbaric things. Um, they'll, there's partial birth abortion, which I'm not sure if that still happens today. I'm not positive about this, but basically they, the woman actually, you know, starts giving birth and, and then they have to, you know, I'm not going to go into it, but you know, they do their thing. Um, uh, it's really pretty gross stuff. Um, in fact, I believe it's with the saline injection. The woman still goes into labor. Um, I think it's that one. Um, but, you know, so they still go through the process. It's just that they give birth to a, a usually dead fetus. Now, that brings up the question, um, is the baby ever born alive? Well, yes, on occasion the baby is born alive. Um, nowadays, it's a little bit less common. Um, but it does still happen on occasion. Um, but once again, it depends what form of, of, of abortion you have. Because there are different kinds of abortion methods, okay? So then the question becomes, is it dangerous to the, um, to the mother? Well, if done incorrectly, um, yes. Um, there's a lot of debate on this. It seems like the majority of methods are overall relatively safe. Um, however, they can be dangerous, just the same as, you know, a lot of things can be dangerous. Um, so... Um, I, I would like to say that a lot of doctors and nurses have gone on record giving testimony about these kinds of things, and, and that doesn't need to be ignored. I mean, that's, that's first-hand encounters. Um, but either way, regardless of your stance on abortion, selling parts, that, that's just wrong. I mean, regardless of that, that needs to stop. You know, it, we, we can't result to acting like animals. I mean, this is a modern day of science. We're not barbarians anymore. We're not cavemen writing it on the walls. We need to, you know, realize that this is a new age. It's time to stop acting like barbarians. Tell you one thing, technology is worth absolutely nothing. If you still act in your heart like a, like a barbarian, like a monster, what separates you from an animal? See what I mean? And these kinds of things are, are just gross. Justifying d cutting up what is obviously human... And then selling off those parts, I mean, that's just gross. That's like the slave trade gross. 
That, that, that's that gross. Now, I do want to draw reference to this. White people completely justified having black people as slaves because they were not human. Okay, even though genetically speaking they were fully human. Okay, Germans justified killing Jews saying that they were not fully human. I mean, goodness sakes, I don't, I don't see how this is lost. It's the exact same thing that happens with fetuses. Even though genetically speaking it is a human. It is a human. Blacks are humans. Jews are human. They're human. We can test it genetically. I mean, this isn't like an opinion matter anymore. This is something that science shows us. Why do we ignore science for lieu of our opinion? I don't get that. I just don't understand that. But either way, so let's look at some, some common rebuttals. Uh, Pro-choices are better, better parents. I have no doubt that um, there can be truth to this. Um, this, once again, is a little bit of a subjective argument. Okay, um, They can, let's put it like that, they can be better parents. I, I will settle for that. They can be better parents, but for that same matter, so can a pro-lifer. The argument here is basically by not taking a fetus or, or an extra child, whatever, um, that you cannot afford, you're able to give the adequate time and attention and money to those that you can afford. Okay, I understand the point here. Um, however, keep in mind that that's not a good enough reason to justify the murder of a child. Okay, there are other ways to go about getting rid of a baby. For instance, do you know that in the foster care system, babies are almost instantly taken? Almost instantly. It's those babies, it's those kids that are um, overweight. Um, maybe not attractive, have physical deformities, mental illness. Those are the ones that are usually um, left to the foster care system. So then that leaves the question, well, what about a baby that has um, has mental illness? This is honestly so unhuman and so immoral that I'm not gonna, even going to answer this. That is just disgusting. Would you go through a mental, a mental ward and, and start killing people? That's just complete nonsense. Would you go in and, and, and see someone with Down syndrome and kill them? That's just nonsense. I mean, this is the most unscientific, biased thing I've ever... Just no, no. Um, so as to whether pro choices can be better parents, however, this is not a, an adequate reason f just ju to justify abortion. Um, it's just a clump of cells. This is honestly one of the most unscientific claims ever. No, it is not just a clump, clump of cells. If you actually study it by the scientific method, it is not just a clump of cells. It is a human being. It is an immature, immature human being. It is still developing, but it is a human being. Um, it's, it's human, just not a person, sometimes compared to like a zit. Well, okay, I can see where you're going with this, but once again, science disproves this. Um, as far as science is con con concerned, you can't really separate a person from a, a human. Now, if you want to get subjective and you want to, but well, my religious views are this, or my personal view is this, well, that's fine, but I mean, that doesn't justify abortion because that's subjective to you. That has nothing to do with what science shows us. Science shows us that genetically speaking, it's a human. Um, it's, like, it's just like a zit. Well, once again, zits don't have the full genetic makeup like a human does, okay? Um, just like a turd. A, a turd does not have our genetic material. It is a waste excreted from our body. It does not. It is not living. It just, it's gone. That's it. The exact same thing with the zit. It's not a living thing. I mean, it, it, it comes from a living thing, but that does not make it a living thing. Really, a lot of confusion um, on this. Go look up what life is. Then go look up what makes something a human, scientifically speaking. Okay, and that will help you resolve that. Um, everyone dies. True, but that's not adequate reason for abortion once again this is actually completely off topic it's irrelevant whether everybody dies or not um, I mean that's like saying I can assassinate the president because eventually there will be another president well yes but that doesn't justify assassinating the president see I mean he is our commander-in-chief and not only is it, it wrong to kill someone but it is also wrong to kill the president I believe you can actually get arrested just for discussing that I mean let, let's look at the data here. Um, so once again, everyone dies is, is an irrelevant point. Scientifically speaking, that doesn't justify murder either way. Uh, what about people on life support? Well, once again, there are obvious, obvious differences here. 
The person on life support is being kept alive by technology. The the fetus is being kept alive by its natural process. Just like a chicken egg. A, the chicken has to sit on the egg in order for the fertilization to take and for the chick to start developing. People don't know that, but it's true. Um, how, how a chicken is, is fertilized, okay? The, the rooster will uh, impregnate the chicken, okay? And then the, the egg will become fertile, okay? So then it will be laid out. And then um, th when the chicken starts sitting on it, it will start within a reasonable amount of time, it will start developing with, into, a, into a chick. Okay? And now, once again, the material is there. However, it just doesn't really, um, a chick, for a chick to really start developing inside, um, it has to have a stable environment and that kind of stuff. Um, so, I mean, the material is there and it is technically a chick. Yes, absolutely. Um, however, if you want that ch chick to fully develop rather than dying, you have to have the chicken sit on it. It's the exact same thing, um, kind of in a way, with um, with a with a, a human fetus. Um, it, is, it is developing. It, it is growing. It is just simply in an immature form. Um, now, keep in mind that I'm not sure of any animals. I'm not sure, but I believe the majority of mammals have to in their earlier stages are dependent on their um on their parents for to reach to reach ages and you know it's the exact same thing a toddler um can't you know can't make it on his own even though he's outside of the body um so the idea that it changes into a person either um once it's born or or after a certain age is is not scientific um it's just based on subjective reasoning um and once again, though, the, the, the fetus is developing, the person on life support is just kind of maintaining. Um, the person on life support um, is kind of stuck in almost like a limbo of not, of not necessarily getting better, not necessarily getting worse, just kind of existing. Whereas a fetus is, is, is developing, the obvious difference is there. Um, but yeah, um, it's a parasite. Well, okay, let's actually examine this is it can it reasonably be called a parasite first off scientifically no because a parasite is something that at its, at its most mature form leeches off another another creature to survive a fetus at its most is a human at its most basic form okay that, that, that needs needs that once again a chicken egg it needs the mom or a chicken to sit on it to keep it warm in order to give it a stable environment so that it can it can grow in fact i will go a step further factors such as humidity and whatnot will change how a chick develops so there's just obvious obvious things like that um so as far as scientifically speaking to call it a parasite is like calling um an unborn elephant a parasite or or a, a chicken in an egg a parasite i mean it's just not scientific at all it's just it's it's drawing a line of comparison that seems to make sense until you actually compare compare the scientific method with it once again once again why have the scientific method if you're not going to use the scientific method? So is it a parasite? Obviously not. Um, it is dependent. Yes. Okay, absolutely. But a toddler is dependent too, just in a different way. Teenagers are dependent too. As mature as they think that they are, they are incapable of making full reason. Because once again, emotions are a new thing. They're exploring things. They're like, oh, I, I'm the first person ever to, exp to know these things. And then they, you know, um, I think uh, I, I heard that... Um, I'm not sure about this, but but your full ability to reason isn't established until 25, I think it is. So technically speaking, um, there's a lot of people who aren't mature that are still considered people. So I, I don't think that mature uh, a certain thing's development should make it said any more or less of that thing. I'll give you another example. If there was a fertilized egg of an endangered bird, that would be considered still killing the bird if you killed that egg, right? Surely you see where I'm going with this. Um, so it's a parasite that doesn't really make sense. Um, it's not as simple as all that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not admitting that this is a simple issue. I'm just saying that it is a it is genetically human. That's that's all that I'm saying. I mean, I'm not trying to oversimplify this at all. Um, you eat chicken eggs, eggs. It's the same thing. Once again, not really, uh, because usually farmers eat chicken eggs that are either unfertilized or they separate the rooster from the chicken so that it can't get fertilized or 
um, they eat a chicken egg that they are unaware is fertilized. Okay, this would be like an accidental thing. Once again, though, um, and we'll talk about this in a minute. Oh, I'll say it now. Animals don't have the same quality of life as a human. I thought that that was obvious. You can own a pet. You can't own a person. That's that's wrong. You can keep a, an animal in a, in a pen, but you can't keep a person in a pen. You can keep an animal in a cage. You can't keep a person in a cage. And this is obvious stuff. I mean, this is just common sense stuff. Um, it, they don't have the same quality of life. That's just a fact. Um, so regardless of whether you do eat an unborn chicken, it's irrelevant to the point, but you're, usually farmers won't do that unless it's an accident. Um, which, once again, it's not that big of a, of a, how did this happen? The rooster impregnates the chicken. Is that something that happens in our, in our reproductive cycle? A man has sex with a woman. That's how babies are born. I mean, it's not like it's, it's some, how did this happen? Uh, pro-lifers are outdated and scientific idiots who believe a 5,000-year-old book. Okay, well, this is actually something that, that, that should be addressed. Um, first off, not all pro-lifers are Christians. Let's establish that first off right off the, right off the bat. Um, I know Bill and I said this, but the Bible's not 5,000 years old. Let's establish that, too. And then third off, regardless of whether they're outdated or unscientific idiots, that doesn't negate the point of whether or not abortion is wrong. That is just simply attacking a person. That has nothing to do with science and in no way proves or disproves whether abortion is right or wrong. So the truth is that abortion is a moral issue, not a religious issue. But for Well, I guess it is a religious issue as well, but more primarily it is a moral issue. Um Obviously, people who are Christians, for instance, for instance, are not going to support abortion because obviously the Bible has so much to say against these kinds of things. Um, however, this does not mean that everybody who is pro-life um, is a Christian. Um, what if abortion were illegalized? Well, I mean, I don't know why why pro-choicers say this like it's really going to stump uh, pro-lifers or Christians. They would be punished the same way as any lawbreaker would be punished. I don't get where the confusion is. What would you get charged for killing someone? Well, then charge the woman who commits an Ill illegal abortion the same thing. I don't get where the confusion is. It, if it's law, the law is established to keep civil order, to keep people from doing bad things. That's why the law is there. A lot of people fudge their taxes. Now, why is it illegal to fudge your taxes? Because it is wrong, you are lying, and lying is traditionally considered wrong. Yes, it is a moral issue. Um, and the government is there to, to establish law and to keep order. Okay, that's what the government's purpose is. Um, so for the, the same thing that would happen to any lawbreaker. Um, you know, if it's illegal to grow pot, what would happen to a person who grew, grew pot? They would be punished under law? I mean, I don't understand why this is such a confusing topic. Different stages of fertilized egg development. Yes, there are different a, a different different stages uh, of a fertilized egg. However, that does not make it any less of a fertilized egg. I don't understand why this is even a factor. This is irrelevant. That's like saying um, a teenager or a teenager hits puberty at this age. Your point being what? Yes, there are different stages of of, an, of a fertilized egg's development. This does not make it any less of a human. It just means that it is a developing thing. No, no confusion here. Once again, the scientific method will answer all of these questions if we just simply ask them. Um, an unwanted pre pregnancy, okay, I, this is actually one I actually understand. Um, but in today's scientific modern world, there is no excuse for getting pregnant. Really, there is none. We know what causes pregnancy, sex. We have surgeries that can enable, disable you from having a, a child. We have uh, things like condoms and contraceptives. We have free birth control. In America, we have free birth control. There is absolutely no reason why you could accidentally get pregnant. That's just, that's just retarded. That is literally stupid. And, you know, common to mo I mean, not common, contrary to most people's um, ideas, the people who are getting abortions are actually the people who have at least one child, if not more. Um, there are some who are who um, who get abortions who who don't have any babies like teenagers and whatnot. But the majority of people who get abortions are people who have had multiple children, um, and, and they actually do think that they're doing the right thing, and they have usually have good reasons for doing it. However, um, murder is not something that you can just justify away by having good ends. Okay, once again, the ends do not justify the means. It's just it's just a retarded idea. Um, but okay. Um, 
So I mean, honestly, this is a, this is kind of a, a an invalid point. I can't afford having two kids, so I'm just gonna kill one of them. Well, you wouldn't do that, would you? So I mean, it's the exact same kind of an idea. An unwanted pregnancy is once again not cause for a, an abortion, but once again, there's no reason to get accidentally pregnant in today's culture. There's just no reason for it in America. Um, so what do you do if you are pregnant? I mean, honestly, the foster care system is, I think is better than death. Even if you are doing it for good purposes, I'm saving them from a bad world. Let them make the decision for themselves. I mean, that's pretty subjective to you. I wouldn't want somebody to decide my fate on what they think is right or wrong for me. So why should you do it for something who who is unborn? Um, a pro-lifers are radicals who want to burn down clinics. Yes, there are radicals. Absolutely, there are radical um, people who there are people who go to radical extremes for for gun control too. There are people who go to radical extremes um, for well for a lot of different things. But that doesn't mean that everyone who everyone who has these views is a radical. Okay, I want to establish that. Just like in Islam, there are radical Islamists and there are there are Islamists who aren't radical. There are different types. Um, there are there are people who call themselves Christians and there are people who actually are Christians because there are obviously differences there. And if you if you look at the grand majority of pro-lifers who have not burned down clinics and compare them to the few who have, you will see an obvious difference. Um, all this is just enough for doubt, not enough to change my mind. Good. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. It needs to be. There is room for reasonable doubt. There is scientific reason for you to give pause to the practice of abortion and at least consider the methods that they are delivered in. Um, so as far as the questions with these kinds of videos, I, I, I will not be doing any questions and answering. Um, I would just encourage you to do the research yourself. Um, you know, go and go in and, and look to see what you know, look to see what, what, what science has to say about these things. Um, don't settle for someone's opinion. Don't settle for what you want to be true. Don't settle for a bias. But take the scientific method and actually analyze and see what it is. I mean, it's really a, a, a simple thing. Um, so, um, I think that's all I wanted to mention. Um, uh, once again, you can go to my blog and I have posts on, on uh, abortion, um, but that is it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, even if you don't agree with me, um, I hope that you uh, have been challenged scientifically to, uh, to press past and actually analyze the evidence. Um, science is definitely our friend. I will see you later.